Another new delivery. Hello and welcome back to another Chris the Fish O Free video. In this one, we've got a few bits to make shopping carts, uh, stands for my planes, we've got a little vending cart, and the main event, we have a single decker bus. Okay, so trying something different. I haven't done review videos for a very long time. I've got a few bits from AliExpress to try out and there's one from Timu which you've seen before already. I even managed to get myself a little table so that I can actually record and you can see me and the building. So fingers crossed all works out well. Down below is the comments box let me know what you think. If my hair's a mess then oh well I'm sorry. But let's get started. Right, like I said, I'm going to start with the smaller ones because they're quicker and easier to get done. So this one, for example, is just as simple as pop a couple of wheels on and there it is. This one doesn't come with all the carrots and veg and stuff. This was the cheaper version because I just basically needed the trolley. I don't need all the vegetables and stuff that come with it. But there we have our second little trolley to go into the Asda store. This should be another quick and easy one. Little piece of paper, four simple instructions, and then that is what we're looking at. So I'm going to get this built, and then I'll show you after. I'm going to do closer versions to the camera to show what they actually look like. Uh, I don't know how well you can see from this distance, as I say. Trial and error at the moment. You'll have to exclude, exclude. You'll have to excuse the uh, cloudy tank next to me. Needs another water change, even though I've just done one. And the turtles keep kicking up all the sand, so that's a pain in the backside. Plus, I've just fed them all their greens as well. Even though I've already done it, I'm going to give you a quick one now you can actually hear me. This is the plane stand which I have bought for my Marvel ships just to try and give it a bit more display life and something along them lines. Uh, only a few pieces in it, nice, simple, one page of instructions if it will turn. And once it's all done, this is what it looks like. The top rotates and it even comes with a little nameplate. So I've got a label maker. I can actually, if I wanted to, label the plane that I put on here. I have tested a few planes and there is only one I have that actually fits on it and doesn't mess it up, shall we say, because of the weight. And that is Captain America's plane. So if you can position it in the right way then it does sit nicely without spinning. I mean, you can still spin it. You can open the wings and all sorts. You can have it so it looks like it's taking off. You can have it so you've got the display on side. Uh, yeah, okay, that's a bit outweighted. So let's try doing it the other direction. It's just a case of having a play with it and seeing what actually works. So yeah, there we go. Works better if the weight is down. So yeah, just have a play around and see what you can do. Okay, so it turns out that little microphone is a load of rubbish. So that is one that I bought from AliExpress. Just says that it's working, but still, even though it's right next to me, it plays the video, but no sound. So the whole clip that I've just recorded you can see it, but you can't hear it. So we're going to have to try and do it like this. Hopefully the microphone can pick me up from over there. But now we're going to start the minibus. 
Okay, so before I start doing the build, I want to show you down here. This looks a hell of a lot easier than a few sets that I've had. So they're all numbered one, two, three, four. There's two bags of four. We've got all our minifigures, which actually don't look too bad compared to what we've had in the past. If the camera will focus. So we've got a few minifigures with it. And then we also have whatever this is. I mean, looks like we've got a lot of accessories for a bus. I mean, like it tells you assembly instructions on there. Looks like you're creating a biker, bus driver, and whoever else is on it. So we'll have a look at that. But then also we've got the assembly instructions they look really good clear so let's get building and see how i get on okay so what a lot of people will do is they'll sit there they'll sort all the parts out i do it a bit different so i just basically start by emptying each bag into its own little container and then I could just pick that pot up, build, 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 next pot, next pot, next pot. Okay, it takes a little bit longer with the searching. You ain't gonna see that because I'm gonna time lapse it. I must say, before I even start, I've opened this up. This is assembly instructions for five characters. I have three. So unless there's some more in there somewhere, which I haven't seen, but then we've got a cool little black brick separator I mean, like, we've got guns, we've got axe, machete, uh, pickaxe, shovel, saucepan, more guns, a grenade, more guns and another grenade. Again, with the saucepan lot, the shovel lot, so we've got a couple of repeats. Uh, machete, shovel, dagger, clippers, I'm guessing that's supposed to be a crossbow. Handcuffs, dagger, walkie-talkie. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. A torch, maybe? A bat? I don't know. Um, binoculars, a radio, and handcuffs. So what any of these have got to do with a bus, I have no idea. But always good to add to my accessory pile. So I'm going to start by building the people together which seem to clip in quite easily. And then just like that, we've got our three little people. Again, I'll give you close-ups at the end of the video. And we've even got three spare hands, as always. Ooh, just open the manual and the stickers have come out. Oh yeah, I'm happy with them. They're some pretty cool. Baby is special, handicap, switch, safe and quick city bus, number 414, that's the number of the bus. We've got some uh, landscape pictures of like tower blocks. We've got a bus stop sign. Oh, we've got a bus stop in this as well, that's good. Uh, news, so when you get your printed newspapers, this one's a stickered one. A garbage collection. So we've got some sort of a recycling bin as well. This is going to be an interesting build. So let's get it going. Right, so the first three bags are for the bus. There's 24 steps of putting this together. Bag four is actually a really cool looking bus stop, newsstand, and, well, no, it's a bus stop with a recycling bin and a newspaper on the bench. So it's not a newsstand. Uh, also got a pole which has the pictures on of it. This looks really, really cool. All right, I'm going to start building this now. So I'm going to start the time lapse and then I'll meet you at the end of the video. I'll have everything together and we'll do a proper review. So I'm going to pause the time lapse there a second. They've gave me 
a black instead of a grey as a 1x4. That's the spare piece from bag 1, but it says I need a grey. So I'm going to have to put this black one here. It definitely says 2 grey, 1 black. I've got 1 grey, 2 black. But hopefully we won't see it anyway. Continue with the time lapse. just like that the bus is done however I will probably not tonight have to take it apart again and swap the sides over just like I did with my city tour bus I am a UK person we drive on the left this is no good because people don't get on and off the bus in the middle of the road so again not tonight but I will be turning the doors from that side to that side. I'll have to rebuild the front as well so that the driver is on the other side. But we will get there. Now I'm going to do the bus stop. And then we're going to review the figures, review everything else. And we're done. So I have found I got a broken piece, not quite moulded properly I'm guessing. It's supposed to be a 1x4 red tile, so I'm going to have to have a look and hope I have got that in my collection, but I'm sure I've just used them on the uh, train stations, so I might have to get some 2x2 red tiles out of my own collection just so that that finishes. Okay, so in my collection, I don't have any 1x4s, but in my miscellaneous pit, which I still haven't sorted out, I have. The only thing that's going to be annoying, slightly different shade, I don't know if you can tell from there, but as I say, I'll do a close-up later on and you'll soon find out. Okay, so now I'm back into the mode that I actually like. Let's have a look. We've got our shopping trolley, which has got some hands, which are spares from them. We have our little hot dog vending cart. Absolutely epic little build. And I think that... Hang on. Oh, right. Oh, bear with me. Can't do it one-handed, but it does actually lift up as well. So that's a nifty little thing to go into the city. Then we had our wonderful little plane holder. 
again I could also put a sticker on there and that's such a great idea that's actually what I've done that looks awesome so let's move these out the way oh I might give you a little sneak preview of what I've been working on as well now we've got the bus so again you can how do you open them? Is it that way? Ah, oh, there we go. You can open up the bus, get on. We have our passengers. We have our bus stop. The bus stop looks epic. I love all the detail on it. You got pictures going all the way around. I might modify slightly to my city style. This bus stop, however, I think I might keep. I really, really like that. And if I can duplicate it, I might even do so. But we've got our characters. Again, you can tell they're not real Lego, but they're the next best thing. I just need to sort the legs out on these two because they're not quite clipped in properly. I love the little recycling bin. Or as Americans call it, the garbage collection. Uh, then we have... As I say, the stickers on there. There's the front. Save quick city bus 414. City bus. And then we got the back. Now I'm not quite sure what this is about, but okay. So we've got three stickers left. We've got city bus and two 414s. Which is what the number of this bus is. Number 414. Number 414 not really any need to put it anywhere else i mean our buses have it on the side as well so i suppose i could do that but again we'll see what happens i've got to swap it all over so the doors open this side so yeah that's what i could actually do if i use one of the stickers i can put the 414 so when he pulls up if you've missed the front you can see the side as to what bus it is so yeah we have the bus we have the bus stop the people, the cart, the plane holder, and the vending cart. Now I'm going to show you a quick look at these. So this is what I was telling you about earlier. I'll give you a quick yeah, you know, bow and arrow, machete. I mean, I don't know what any of these have got to do with the bus. I think they might have accidentally been put in the pack. But they're not too bad, actually. I quite like them. But at the same time, I have already got lots and lots of guns. I've even got a SWAT shield. Uh, I've got axes and swords and blades. More gun-style stuff. Hammers. Uh, more bladed items. So I suppose I could try and put them into there. Now... A sneak peek anybody that watches my shorts knows i've recently got a 3d printer it's not mine however i am just testing it out for a friend but i can have some fun in the meantime my first ever i got a lego brick it does it does click on however it doesn't hold but if you put it on top it has a little bit of hold but easily knocked off but i'm not making my own bricks to build with it was just a tester and it looks absolutely epic then i've got a man cave sign oh yeah then we tried to do some capes for the figures that don't look too bad obviously i need to learn to clean them all up and everything after then this is where you see the scaling issue. It's only a small printer. I mean, my hand, it's not even as big as my hand. But when you're trying to do a Lego bin, I think I made that a little bit too big. I don't even think... Oh. No, I've just bent it at the bottom. But... I don't even think it would clip. Uh, bust that bit off. No. It's not even to the scale of being able to clip 
clip onto the Lego and it's just breaking the bottom apart. But I can always use that for something else anyway. Then this is a sorting tray, but again, it's not exactly massive. That is pretty much the full scale, I'm not far off, of the tray. So, you know, it's a cool little thing. You might be able to get some sort of a use for it. But then I tried to print out a 3D minifigure of Marshmallow Man, some singer or something that my son likes. I've managed to get, I tried to colour his eyes in. The head worked, the torso worked, nothing else did. So I can get a black marker, colour his eyes in properly, and then just find a body for him. I mean, come on, it even fits onto real Lego. That is amazing. So, I am definitely going to be investing in my own 3D printer, preferably a much bigger one. But, again, you then need to think, where are you going to put it, Chris? There is absolutely nowhere in here. Even underneath. And if you think the wife's going to let you have it in the house, you're sadly mistaken, because if you come this way... There's the door. This is the part to the bus stop that is dodgy, but that one piece out of all, I mean, now you've got the proper lighting, you can see it's not quite the same shade, but it's not a dramatic difference. Quick look at the simple, easy manual. If you want to try and build your own out of official Lego, Pause the screen, screenshot it. There's your vending machine. So I might make a few of those. Then here is the instructions for the stand. Okay. And then these absolutely useless garbage. Right. These, I don't know, it's a bit difficult to follow, but a lot of it is probably down to glare. So you can see, obviously, you get a little bit of glare because I've got a light here. But when I'm sat over there, you've got the light above, and it makes it really difficult to read. But kind of trying to figure out where bits go, how it all sits... It wasn't massively difficult. It was easy enough for me to do. I mean, I got very, very stumped when it came to this section here. I was like, well, how is that supposed to work? But what I didn't realise, for example, is these four sit on here. Two of them clip on, two of them don't. So when I first did it, I put the four of them where they're all clipped onto here. And I was like, well, when I put this brain bit on, what what's there? But yeah, they went, started on this four and then clipped onto just them two. But yeah, I mean, little things like that. I figured it out in the end. It was a fairly easy build. And as I say, I could probably make another bus or make another stand or make a lot more vending carts with different things. Oh, oh, look what else I've bought. I bought a canoe or a kayak. I think it's more classed as a kayak, I don't know. But I've got a canoe, I've got some more slopes, and I've got some more plates, like little, like some little two by jumper plates. I've got dark grey and light grey. So there's some more stuff that's got to get put away, and then they are for the next couple of videos. Right, so thank you all for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully you've understood the video. And as I say, we've got the delivery truck and the uh, detectives agency to build in the next couple of videos. So leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.